Hi guys and ladies. Well, today I'm going to try to make meatballs the way my Italian mother made them. Uh, my Italian father, he wanted nothing to do with cooking, but I took notes from my mother. I'm going to see if I can get them to come out anything like hers. <music> I'm starting off with one and a third pounds of ground chuck. Here I'm adding two eggs. Now I'm going to put in a half a cup of breadcrumbs. My mother always used the unseasoned kind, but I've tried both and I can't tell a difference. Right now I'm adding a half a cup of good Parmesan cheese. My mother's recipe was more breadcrumbs than cheese, but I've altered it slightly because I'm on a lower carb diet. Here, let's add just a little bit of salt, not too much because it's got Parmesan in it. All right, this is the part that really makes the meatballs good and it's basil pesto. Now, my mother always uh, grew her own basil plants and made her own pesto, but I get it in the store. It's equally as good in my, in my opinion. So give it a try. Two teaspoons of good basil pesto. If you go over, it's not a problem. You could, for something like this, could put up to three teaspoons. Now I'm just going to dig in with my hands and mix this mixture. Don't over mix it, just mix it well. My mother always said, keep your hands moist. Seems like all my videos I'm messing up my hands. Oh, the fragrance of this though. Mamma mia. That's about right. I'm going to use this small ice cream scoop to help me form the meatballs. I like my meatballs small, no particular reason, I don't know, but uh, I do love gadgets. never find two Italian mothers who agree on the recipe for meatballs. Same thing with the spaghetti sauce. My mother would argue with her own sisters as to the best way. How nice are they? Look at that. There's about two dozen here. Okay, over here in this pan, I'm just going to put about a half inch of vegetable oil. You could use olive oil, but it gets pretty expensive. Maybe three quarters of an inch. Let's get this frying pan up to a heat of medium high. Now I'm just going to put those meatballs in this hot oil. My mother would never use this much oil to brown meatballs. But look how fast it cooks. I hope she's not looking down and seeing this. We're like deep frying meatballs. Now you have to turn them all so that they're nicely brown. Now when they're nice and crusty brown like this, they're done. I'm going to put these in the uh, sauce that I've got going here. But really I think you could eat these right away. I'm just going to put them in the sauce that I'm making. Now don't these look good? The house is filled with uh, their aroma. Now just like in The Godfather, I'm going to add these to the sauce. Now I've got homemade sauce, but you could add it to your store-bought sauce. I would just let it simmer for like an hour or maybe two. Just remember to stir the pot every 10 minutes or so. 
I'm just going to have a little taste of my meatballs. just like moms. Thank you, mom, and thank you for watching.